Hello, I want to talk to you about how important it is to keep the focus on mental health in the workplace. In recent times, it's become really apparent how important our mental health is. And we've seen an increase in incidences of stress and mental ill health in the workplace over the last few years. The latest figures from the Health and Safety Executive show that there are approximately 914,000 cases of stress, anxiety and depression in 2021 to 2022. That equates to an estimated 17 million working days lost, which represents 55% of all working days lost due to work-related ill health. So we can see that stress and mental health are still so important. Having a good mental health and wellbeing strategy and a positive wellbeing culture can have numerous benefits. It can help to reduce stress levels, reduce sickness absence, increase engagement and productivity and job satisfaction. It can improve retention and we know it can make you more attractive as an organisation as more and more employees gravitate towards organisations that care about their mental health. I have three top tips for creating a wellbeing culture. My first tip is to make sure that you create a mental health and wellbeing strategy that targets different levels of support. So first of all, at the primary level, it's about getting to the nub of issues and tackling the sources of stress. At a secondary level, there will always be those jobs that have inherent stressors in them. So it's about providing training and other sources of support to help employees cope with those stressors. And then lastly, at a tertiary level, it's about helping those individuals that have mental health problems already and thinking about how you can help to keep them healthy in the workplace, help to keep them in work through things like workplace adjustments or providing support such as employee assistance programme or occupational health. My second top tip is ensuring leadership commitment and role modelling. It is so important that leaders demonstrate a commitment to the health and well-being of their employees, that they encourage and model openness, that they champion well-being initiatives, that they behave in ways that promote employee well-being. It's also important that they challenge the stigma that still exists around mental health, but not just about mental health directly. Currently in this financial climate, there is still a lot of stigma around talking about financial struggles. Leaders can provide a safe environment by encouraging people to talk about it, highlighting sources of support and making it easier for people to come forward and access that support. My third top tip is invest in line manager capability. And I talk about this a lot. There is an increasing pressure now on managers to support their wellbeing of their staff alongside business as usual. So investing in line managers to help them to spot the signs of mental ill health to have those sensitive conversations and to support staff in new ways of working, such as hybrid working, is so important. So in summary, please continue to focus on mental health and wellbeing in 2023.